Welcome to the MechSoft User Spotlight Series, where you can find real customers achieving their success with MechSoft products. Today we'll be spotlighting CNC fins and Tectonics Maui and the use of RhinoCam CNC software. Michael Wazenski is a systems engineer with Northrop Grumman in Annapolis, Maryland, overseeing systems integration projects on some of the most advanced satellite systems in the world, including the JWST, James Wedd Space Telescope. By night, Michael and his business partner Keith McCulloch operate cncfins.com, where he designs the CAD and CAM data to manufacture his custom windsurfing board, wave, and weed fins. These are not just any fins. Michael's world-class fins are machined and sold by Tectonics Maui, a confirmed leader in windsurfing boards and gear. Unlike traditional wave surfing boards, windsurf boards travel much faster through the water, so the size, shape, and position of each fin is of critical importance. A windsurfing board will have multiple fins, each designed to affect specific drag and lift characteristics, which taken together contribute to the board's performance as it travels through the water. The outer fins, for example, are asymmetrical, giving the inner and outer sides of that fin unique and specific characteristics. Michael found the stock fin designs mounted on the latest production boards to be lacking and felt that he could design a better fin. The Rhino Cam Difference To this end, Michael originally started out evaluating Mastercam, but soon found that software to be both difficult and lacking in functionality. That is when Michael turned to RhinoCam and Mechsoft Corporation. Learning RhinoCam was not difficult, which Michael found to be amazing. Here is just some of what Michael had to say about his RhinoCam software. But like I said, I mean, I, there was no issue. It was a pretty amazing. Um, when I loaded RhinoCam, it already had a post processor for Centroid. I dropped it in there. I laid down, the, learned how to, I was really learning at the very beginning how to even lay down tool pass, what was a pocketing operation. Um, and, and once I got that down, I just brought it over to the machine and it, it literally worked the first time. Wow. The Rhino Cam Project. In this project, Michael machines eight windsurf board fins in two setups, one setup per side. The stock material is G10, a fiberglass epoxy composite, the same material used to manufacture printed circuit boards. In this example, each fin measures approximately 180 millimeters square by 12 millimeters thick. Each fin component consists of the fin foil. This is the portion that extends out of the board and makes contact with the water. Extending below the fin foil is the insert US box block. This is the portion that is mounted within the board proper and is fixed in place with mounting hardware. Both the fin foil and the block are machined together from the same stock as a single component. Here on the left, we see the 3D fin component modeled in the Rhino 7 CAD program, along with some basic dimensions. On the right, we see the setup orientation of eight identical fin components for machining, part and setup. The Rhino Cam machining job tree for side A is shown here on the right. It consists of the machine, post, stock, and fixture definitions, as well as each machining operation, listed under Setup 1. The machine coordinate system origin is located at the XYZ center of the stock block. Three facing operations appear first, under Setup 1. These are followed by one machining operation set, referred to as a mop set, that contains each of the eight finishing operations. The remaining profiling operations cut the perimeter of the component. All operations are cut using a 1 quarter inch or 6.35 millimeter diameter corner radius mill with a corner radius of 0.762. On the CNC router, the eight fins are arranged within a stock block measuring 464 by 560 millimeters and 12.8 millimeters thick. 
sequence of operations. Again, the machining job and setup shown here will machine side A of the stock. The two axis facing operations will cut the top flat areas. The three axis parallel finishing operations will cut side A of each fin. The two axis profiling operations are then used to cut the perimeter of the fins down to the mid plane. At this point, the stock is flipped over on the CNC router. For side B, the top planar faces and side B of the fins are then machined. To complete the process, the two axis profiling operations will clear the perimeter of the fins from the remaining stock material. The control geometry. These two images illustrate the positioning of the part and the related control geometry. Make a note of the elevation of catch surface A and catch surface B. A catch surface, also referred to as a guide or masking surface, is any surface added to the part model that helps guide the cutter while the toolpath is calculated. Notice the catch surface A is positioned at Z0 midplane of the part. It guides the elevation of the cut start point. Catch surface B is positioned at negative 0.762 below the midplane. As the name suggests, Catch Surface B catches the cutting tool as it leaves the fin contour and drops down below the midplane at negative 0.762. Because the corner radius of the cutter is also 0.762, the full cutting width of the tool will stop at Z0, which is the midplane. Two axis facing. As mentioned previously, the setup includes both two axis and three axis operations. The two axis facing operations are controlled by the perimeters of the top planar geometry. For facing, the spindle speed is 6,300 RPMs with a cut feed rate of 2,000 millimeters per minute. With a linear cut pattern and mixed cut direction, the tool steps over 1.58 millimeters per pass at one level with a 10 degree ramp entry. Three axis parallel finishing. All three axis operations in RhinoCam are gouge free. This means that the cutting tool will not violate any visible surface at the time the operation is calculated. A three axis parallel finishing operation is used to cut each side of the eight fins. The control geometry for this operation are the perimeter edges of catch surface B. Catch surface B is a planar surface that extends out past the perimeter of the fin by 6.35 millimeters. The cutting tool will follow the fin surface contour and then drop down onto catch surface B and stop at its outer perimeter. The spindle speed for this operation is 6,300 RPMs and a cut feed rate of 5,500 millimeters per minute. A mixed cut direction, a cut angle of 0 degrees along the x axis, and a step over of 0 0.5 is applied. Two axis profiling. The final cuts in the setup include two two axis profiling operations, illustrated here on the left. One cuts the perimeter of the block, and another cuts the trailing edge perimeter of each fin. The first operation has a 10 degree ramp entry, a mixed cut direction, and two cut levels, the second being 4.5 millimeters below the midplane. The spindle speed for this operation is 6,300 RPMs at a cut feed rate of 600 millimeters per minute and a stock allowance of zero. The second perimeter operation is cut at 1,000 millimeters per minute with a stock allowance of 0.1 in one cut level that stops at the midplane. Here is the cut material simulation of side A operations here on the right.
Machining Information The details of this setup are shown here in the RhinoCam Machining Information dialog. Note the cut feed, spindle speed, and the number of go-to motions for each operation. The largest being Fin 4A is comprised of 62,400 cut motions. The total machining time is estimated to be 1 hour and 26 minutes. This is based on the accumulated cut feed rates for each operation, plus the transfer feed rate, which is set to 2 times the cut feed rate. Here we see a view of Michael's RhinoCam tool library in an Excel spreadsheet format. This same tool library is programmed into his Centroid controller. While he does not have an automatic tool changer, his Centroid controller lets him know prior to each program run exactly what tool to load to minimize confusion. Machining and Assembly These images show Michael's custom wave fins being machined on his Centroid controlled CNC 3-axis router here on the left. On the right, we see a set of four custom wave fins assembled on a multi-fin windsurf board. The fins are insert mounted within the board proper and fastened using hardware fed from the top side and through the board. Here is more of what Michael had to say about his RhinoCam. More about CNC fins. Michael Wazinski co-operates CNCfins.com from his home in Annapolis, Maryland. Michael's windsurf board wave fins are CNC cut from RhinoCam Toolpaths in Hakau, Hawaii and sold by Tectonics Maui, one of the premier retailers for windsurf racing gear. Michael's wave fins have in no small part contributed to some of the awards won on the PWA World Tour. Michael's wave fins have been tested in Annapolis, Maryland, on the Outer Banks, North Carolina, and Maui, Hawaii, among other cool locations. You can purchase Michael's wave fins at tectonicsmaui.com. More about Tectonics Maui. Dennis Parton, owner and operator of Tectonics Maui, has over 25 years of experience designing world title winning windsurf fins for many of the top professional windsurfers on the PWA World Tour. This heritage has led him to the development of the finest G10 fin production facility in the world. His machines and CNC software are state of the art and Tectonics only uses the finest hand selected panels of G10 composites. Here are just a few of the PWA wins that Michael and Dennis's fin designs have contributed to. More about RhinoCam. RhinoCam Mill is available in five configurations. Express, Standard, Expert, Professional, and Premium. The parts shown here were programmed using the standard configuration. Here are some additional details about each of the available configurations. For the complete features list, we invite you to visit the RhinoCam product page. See the link in the description below to download your RhinoCam today. This video was brought to you by Mexoft Corporation, your CAM partner.